So once we know about the prerequisites for Android programming, what you should know, in this video we'll talk about the prerequisite in Android programming, what you should have. Now before starting with Android, you have to set up your laptop or desktop so that you can work on uh, Android programming. So it depends upon which type of OS you're working on. Maybe you're using Windows OS, maybe you're using Ubuntu, obviously Linux flavor, or maybe you're using Mac. For different different uh, uh, OS, we have different different settings. But the softwares we have to use the same. So whenever you work with Java, because see, Android is based on Java, right? Because there's a very famous person called Larry Ellison, founder of Oracle. He claims, what is Android? Take Java, take XML, mix it up, and you will get uh, Android, right? So basically, when you work with Java, to compile your Java files, we require JDK to compile your files. So the first thing in your machine you require is JDK. If you're using Windows and Mac, you can use normal JDK. If you're using Ubuntu, you require open JDK. Now, once we have done the setup of JDK, the next step we require is next. The next thing we require is SDK, which is Software Development Kit, which is for Android. So it is Android SDK. Okay. Again, it depends upon which type of uh, OS you want to work with. Maybe for Marshmallow, for Lollipop, we'll be having different different versions for SDK. Uh, so you have to download basic SDK from uh, Google. In fact, the, the, the amazing thing is. Uh, when you install Android Studio, you will get SDK with it. So you require JDK, you require SDK, and to type your code, you require Android Studio, which is an IDE for uh, for Android. So initially, people used to work on Eclipse. So uh, maybe two to three years back, if you want to work on Android programming, you have to use Eclipse. So in Eclipse, you can have Android plugin and you can write your code there. But Eclipse is not meant for Android. It is good for other frameworks, but not for Android. Specifically for Android, we have Android Studio, okay, which is powered by IntelliJ. IntelliJ is one of the best uh, IDE for Java, okay. So for Android also, we use IntelliJ powered powered software, which is Android Studio. So three things we require here. First will be JDK, then we require SDK, and we require Android Studio. The latest version of Android Studio, which is stable, is 1.5. Uh, maybe if you are watching this video in uh, maybe after two months of this video, you will be using 2.0, which is again, which is in beta version now. You can also use 2.0 Android Studio. But since you are learning Android, so make sure you use uh, the stable version, which is 1.5. Okay. So these are the prerequisites which uh, which should be there in your machine. Now there is also a hardware dependency here. Uh, when you work with Android, we we have also have a hardware dependency. Uh, make sure you have at least uh, three or four GB of RAM. If you have two GB of RAM, it will work. But you know, uh, you should not hate Android after doing that because once you run your Android code on 2GB RAM, it will take approximately 3 to 4 minutes just to see the output. So don't you waste your time, just update your RAM uh, till 4GB, or so from 2 to 4GB. So you require 4GB RAM. Uh, you require at least a Core to Duo machine for Android. Uh, again, you, it will work on P4, but uh, if you love your life, if you love your patience, make sure you use uh, a uh, go to do a machine and what next that's it you require all those things and if you have everything you're good to go so we'll start with the implementation or we'll see how to install all the softwares in the next video and after that we'll start with the implementation